Hey guys, welcome back to Hendrickson Family Farm. In today's video, we are going to be cleaning up part of the the goat barn, and we're going to turn it into a uh, chicken coop. It's the the front part. We don't ever use it. It's just kind of a catch-all. So like extra feeders and buckets and stuff always get thrown in here. So me and Nina are going to clean it out, and we're actually going to turn it into a chicken coop. Uh, because we need the greenhouse this spring um, so we want to kind of get this done and then we uh, and see what we need to do um, you guys might be able to tell this is part of the goat barn this part of the barn we don't really use we used to use it for like feed and things but um, when we started went when we went to the bulk feed we kind of quit using it uh, for anything important so and you know, living on a farm, you always have mice and things, uh, and they were really kind of devastating anything that we would leave in here. So, because, and the reason why they did it is mainly because we didn't have uh, a barn cat that would stay out here. We had one, but it wouldn't stay out here. Um, so, with that being said, we're going to get out, go in here, and we're, Nina and I are going to get this all cleaned out and uh we'll bring you guys along and then kind of talk about what we need to do here as far as a wall so first thing i'm going to do is pick up all these feeders that i have laying around in buckets these are my buckets that go for uh oh come here you want to say hello to my little friend huh what are you doing, buddy? Oh, there's the other one. Uh, pig water and just a bucket. I think the way that pig water is designed, it'll work really good for um, actually a, a chicken water. And then these feeders, I can hang on the wall and dump their feed in. These are uh, creep feeders for baby pigs, but I can hang them on the wall and I think we can just dump the feed in there and it'll actually make it a little bit better for uh, the pigs too, or they get chickens. What do you think about that, babe? Turn this into the chicken feeders. And the reason why I think these will actually work for the chickens is because they have the, the push style little nipple on them. And that's how a lot of the chicken waterers are. So they may accidentally work for the chickens. It'd be handy if they did. See, I have this shelf over here. Um, I, I used to keep a bunch of stuff up on it. We're going to have to get it all cleaned off of there. And, yeah. Actually, I might dump that into the back of the mower and then push all that off on that. I don't know what all's up there. There's like a metal bowl in there. There's a metal bowl in there. This could just dump out on the pasture. I know, that's why I... I think we need to close off the green gate and not let them over here anymore. You need to fix the fence. Cause there's nothing to eat anymore, so might as well not have them trampling it down, trampling it down. Yeah, but they're fur putting fertilizer. 
Oh. There's still quite a bit of stuff out there. Yeah, manure is helping it. Uh, it will help it a lot. So guys, we got it cleaned out in here. Uh, all the stuff off the walls and off the ground. Uh, we did ha go ahead and hang uh, the troughs like I was saying earlier. We did the one for the turkey because it's a little taller, but then the rest of them are a little lower so the chickens can get them. Uh, I'm gonna turn this camera around so it'll... Let me straighten you up, you're a little crooked. You're a little crooked, there you go. So then one of the next things that we have to do is right here where this this little stall is, we're gonna get four two by fours and then one to go up on both ends. And then we're just going to put uh, chicken wire there uh, we don't need to build a wall because this building stays pretty warm, but we will probably go ahead and hang some heat lamps in here for winter time. Um, it, in, later on, we do have to get power ran back out to the building. I know it's a little deceiving because there's a light on. Um, I just have an extension cord plugged into my 110 outlet in the uh, in the building, so it, it kind of appears like there's more a uh, power out here. Wait. It, it works it just doesn't work it doesn't look nice and uh, the the wife likes it to look nice here's a little bottle baby he's a little he's a little terror he just wants to constantly chew on you There's no, there's no milk there. What's with the leg? What's with the leg? Do you have anything to add, babe? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sucker! <laughs> uh, but but we we got it cleaned out really good. It's a little dirty. Uh, we got it cleaned out really good, so I think it'll work. We just we really wanted to get the the greenhouse cleaned out because. 
I'm, I'm sure you guys are aware, and Nina is the one that's really kind of pushed. Out. She's actually been looking at buying a new greenhouse. Um, I, I don't know if I really want to spend the money on it. We'll spend a hundred dollars on some new plastic, get it covered. Uh, but she was looking at thousand dollar greenhouses, fourteen hundred dollar greenhouses uh, last night on the internet, and uh, th there's other places I would like to spend that money instead of. The greenhouse when I can put plastic over it for another it'll it last two years when I put the plastic on it the last time. Uh wasn't it two years? Something like that? Yeah. I mean it did okay. It just doesn't have doors and <clears throat> Yeah. So there I mean there are some cons to it too, but there it the the money would be nice um in other places, so we'll that's what we'll do for right now. And I don't know, Nina Nina might convince me that we're going to buy a greenhouse and we buy a greenhouse. It's not convincing. She might just say that you're going to buy a greenhouse and that's what we do. Maybe. Huh? Because, you know, it's not that I would say no to a new greenhouse. It's just it's a lot of money to spend on a greenhouse. But, we could use other places. Well, that's gonna be it. We just got the clean up here. I don't know if we'll put the chickens in here tonight. Uh, we'll probably get the we two bo <laughs> other nesting boxes. Nesting box in here, and they're Speak doing up. like little roosting things. Speak up! They can't hear you. I'm talking to you. I know, but tell the camera. Come on. Do it. I'm not a puppet. Come on. So we still have to put the roosting box in here and uh, well it's the laying box. Or is that what it is a roosting box? Yeah. On. She sounds so enthused. I don't know if you guys caught that or not. But anyway that's going to be it for the video. Uh, we'll catch you next time.